Welcome to another Reiki ASMR video. This one will be soft spoken, slow paced, and we're just going to address the energies that I'm aware of and balance out some energy, um, allow Reiki to flow to you, and just simply kind of trust that the energy and your body do what is required for where you're at right now and what is happening in the world and so just sit back be willing to relax be willing to receive and and we will allow Ricky to do the rest yeah calling in Reiki, calling in the energy, um, chakra, chakra, chakra. so just make sure that you're in a comfortable place where you can relax, where you can just be uninterrupted, kriya, 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 where, yeah, where you can just let go and go with it, go with the flow of this video where this video will take us. So my intention is that Reiki flows to you wherever you are in the world, whenever you're watching this through time and space and that it works with your body whatever your body and you are asking for, what kind of, whatever kind of change you're asking for whatever it is that you have bought into, whatever lies you've bought into right now that are keeping you stuck in any way and ultimately also that we get full deep relaxation because that's when our bodies are in the ultimate state to heal, to um, resolve and um, release and let go of anything that simply is not serving you anymore. I also ask that Ricky works with you and keeps flowing to you as long as it's required. Um, also know that you have the power to say no and like or yes and just by you clicking on this video is a form of consent but to make it even more powerful you can just state out loud or in your mind that you um, receive with gratitude and if you have any additional intention is watching this, how many people are watching this whenever they choose to watch it, wherever in the world. Ricky is an omnipresent energy, so it doesn't matter if it's through a video, if it's 
if it's through an audio, through an image, if you're in the same place as me or anything in between. You will receive it as long as you're willing to, believe that. <laughs> If you haven't watched my like most recent videos, then I'm just gonna mention that I am in the middle of a big city. Um, there will be noises. I am very like right now. I don't have all of my gear. I don't have a space that I can count on as you know noise-wise <laughs> or stuff. So there are sirens. There are cars honking. But know that. You're safe, we are uninterrupted, and let's just destroy and uncreate all points of view, all triggers that have to do with those sounds and noises, because they do not, like, they do not um, trigger me, but I am aware when it triggers people who will watch this, so... If it doesn't bother you, then great. You don't have to reassure me in the comments. Um, this is not something that I worry about, but I do, I am aware that a lot of people are triggered by noises and stuff. So just let's destroy and create all of those triggers, all the trifle sequencing systems that are related to that. And if you're willing, then just say yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, button and buckle, night. Shorts, boys, and beyonds. Right and wrong, good and bad, bot and back all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. You are safe. It has nothing to do with sounds. Don't make yourself wrong for it, of course. You're not wrong for being triggered by this. But let's just pull out anything. And destroy and uncreate anything that sets off that fight and flight. Right and wrong, good and bad, bad and back all night, shirts, boys, and beyonds. I do my best to edit out most of them. Most of the sounds that I can edit out. But it's inevitable that some will still remain. So what came to my awareness while, while I was setting up um, was like really um, dominant energy of being trapped, being kind of in this uh, sluggish, slow motion, you know, like oh, kind of difficult to do anything and take action and move forward and all that. So. that is a bit in the air of those of you who are watching and um, just want to address that and give you a few tools to hopefully shift it a bit and of course Reiki will help us as well heal anything, um, transmute and move around anything that has to do with this um, state of feeling like you don't have a choice, feeling like um, there's nothing really you can change or that you're mm, maybe not a victim but like you're kind of at the effect of everything around you so what if you um, what if we can take some of your power back even though you know we're having these um, weird stuff happening in the world um, okay, what is it that you can actually take back? What power is it that you can claim now? And um, what is it that you're kind of... What, in what areas are you? Have you just given away your power? Um, there's always some things that we cannot change, of course. But there's so much more than we believe that we actually have power in. And it might not look you know, the same way as it does in your mind right now. So, even though you might not have the 
choice that you wish right now and that you are so sure that is the right choice or the best choice and what about finding some other way for something different but that serves a similar purpose and that is the first step is just to be willing to ask the question be willing to ask you're asking kind of the universe but you're also asking your own awareness so okay what is it that I could choose here that I haven't been willing to see that I haven't considered what is it that is possible what is available to me what choices are available to me that I'm not willing to see and I'm not willing to be aware of and this is this is so much more powerful than it sounds to be willing to put those questions out there and kind of trust that just by doing that you're already shifting things and that creates the space of where you're open to see other possibilities you are not a vibrational match to seeing other possibilities if you are stuck in a conclusion so every time you decide that you don't have a choice you don't you cannot see another choice so as soon as you're willing just to open up the possibility that hey there might be something here that that I haven't thought of that ha or have not I haven't made space for in my world yet so what else is possible here I haven't considered what else is possible here I haven't considered and then be willing to let go of that question into the universe and who knows what might come to you later in any shape or form that will trigger some kind of an idea some kind of space any possibility you know remember also that you are so aware of other beings you are so aware of other people of other bodies um, and this is something I constantly have to remind myself of that I am aware of something and I'm sure that it's, you know, in me, it's in my relationship, it's in my life where it has to do with some choice that I, you know, like it doesn't sit well with me. But then I just remember this. Oh, wait, who does this belong to? Is this even mine? And then it disappears. And then there was no problem in the first place. You were just aware. And while we are not totally, like, cognitively aware of everything we're aware of, as in we're not entirely willing to acknowledge and see everything we are aware of um, then it gets confusing as soon as we're just willing to acknowledge oh I'm aware okay am I picking up on other people's stuff yes okay then it's gone and we let go of it awareness is um, it's very kind of multi-layered thing and it our state of mind, our state of being, receiving and um, the more that we're willing to allow everything to, to kind of just flow through us in our, in our reality and we're also willing to be aware that it is not ours, that we're just so aware, then it becomes an easy thing to be aware and it's not like you're bombarded with information all the time it's just energetic and it's kind of like floating so just remember that please like what am I aware of here? is this even mine? and if it's lighter just know that then it's just through your awareness you're just aware of some other person that yeah triggered something in you that made you hold on to it but that's okay it doesn't have to be a big deal it can just be, oh, okay, I wasn't willing to acknowledge on some level that I am just aware of this and you have maybe some attachments to this that make you kind of hold it in your reality. But that's not something you have to worry about right now. It's like, it's such a big thing first to just acknowledge all this awareness and that takes a little bit of, um, not necessarily discipline, but just like, constantly reminding yourself every single day many times a day okay so let's get back to Reiki again just 
stirring around in your energy field as well pull out, stir things around, pull out and just let go and give it back to whomever it belongs to we can do like I did in, in a video a few months ago um, where we did like a, a scan and returned anything in our awareness to its center and um, yeah, I contributed to a lot of you so I think that it would be great to do that again in this video right after we channel some more Reiki Reiki flow Reiki flow, Reiki flow, Reiki flow to everyone watching for whatever they require right now for their, them acknowledging their awareness and any light being capable, able, willing and conscious can contribute to this video, to this session to anyone who is willing to receive your contribution what would it take for all of us to be willing to acknowledge all of our awareness and work with it, not against it to work with it and not react to it what would it take? you to fully let go, it is safe for you to receive and know that you are you are so much uh, more than someone who needs to feel safe someone who needs to feel protected that is normal when we have um, had many childhood traumas that we need to feel safe and protected we need to feel worthy like we're enough but as soon as we can heal from that as soon as we're willing to break free of anything connected to it because a big part is just being willing to acknowledge what happened being willing to acknowledge that it doesn't define you and let go finish the sentence <clears throat> I forgot what I was talking about but I just remembered so yeah so you're so much more than someone who needs to be protected and safe but it's okay if you are there if you are in that space then it is important for you to know that you are safe and it's okay that you need to feel safe just know that you as a being are always safe you do not need to be saved or someone else does not need to keep you safe but it is completely valid if you are in that state and in access consciousness there is a, a way to clear away all of the um, trauma that gets stuck in a loop so like um, and it's called trifold sequencing systems so what we do is just we ask for them to come to the surface 
So this actually gets stored in these tri what we call trifold sequencing systems. Anything that happens, our energy gets fractured a bit because of a trauma, and we start functioning from a uh, fight or flight when there's something that triggers this trauma. Anything that reminds us of it, our brain cannot understand the difference between the time that it happened and the time now. So you are stuck in the loop, like you're stuck in time. And when we call up these, all the trifle sequencing systems and everything in them to the surface, we can destroy and uncreate all of it and then say the access clearing statement, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shirts, boys, and beyonds. Can do it again, ask for all of the trifle sequencing systems of the people who are watching and destroy and uncreate them all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine. Shorts, boys, and peons. And anything this is bringing up, anything else this is bringing up to the surface, just pulling it all out and destroying and uncreating all the subtle energies, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all night. Shorts, boys, and peons. incense, lavender soothes, lavender aids, helps us with relaxation. Gonna choose between a cone or like a stick. I think I'll go with a cone. These matches are so cute. So, Abelia means bee in Portuguese. And these matches are actually coated with beeswax. going to ask that this incense amplifies our intention whatever we stated through this video whatever was mentioned in this video we ask that all that energy we're going to put that energy into this cone ask it to amplify this healing session you want to add any intentions into here, then you can do so right now.
So now we're going to do um, a scan of who does this belong to. So we are going to give back anything in our energy field that we have falsely bought as ours. So we're going to just remind us all how extremely aware we are and the power of acknowledging our awareness like I love this exercise because mostly because of that because we take our power back we take our awareness away in, in, in some ways by not acknowledging it so it's so beautiful to do this exercise remind us how powerful it is to acknowledge our awareness and afterwards we it's kind of like we you are a bit more awakened because you are just like wow okay shit i am like i am taking on all of these energies and i haven't been allowing myself to to acknowledge it to um admit it and when we don't when we kind of suppress it it just turns into pain it turns into anxiety turns into heaviness it turns into just suppression depression anything that you know it's not fun in this in these bodies so we're going to start here above your head I'm going to do these, I'm going to move the energy with you, but know that you are powerful enough. You do not need me to do this, but it's a contribution. It's not a need. So I'm going to contribute and kind of hold space for you and guide you through it. But you can do this by yourself as well. So I'm just stirring up the energies here above, above your head. So anything above your head, around your skull, around your head that you have been holding on from whomever, from any people who are alive in bodies right now and from people who are not in bodies, like we can hold on to stuff from disembodied being and from beings in bodies. So we're just now going to acknowledge everything that is not yours and return it to center one two three anything that is not yours around your head it can be also here in front of your face in front of your third eye your mental space your eyes so anything around here pulling it out as well who does all of this belong to? Any heaviness, any tension, but also just energies that are there that we can't define. Is it yours? Can you just return it, let go of it? Everything that doesn't allow you to let go of it or acknowledge that it isn't yours. Let's destroy and create it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, bottom and back. All nine shirts, boys and beyonds. move here um, at the back of your neck anything that you're holding on to at the back in the back of your neck at the, the top of your um, spine top of your spine back of your neck kind of when and here in the um, top of your shoulders in this area and in the front here in the throat area around your throat chakra anything you're holding on to there that is not yours will you now revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, now create it and return it to whoever it belongs to 
Let's return it all. One, two, three. Everything that's lingering, lingering here around your shoulders and your heart space, the top of your back. Anything that is not yours, that you have bought as yours, or simply not ask the question. One, two, three, return it all to center. <laughs> oh, let's move down, down your the top of your arms. So down to your elbows and everything in the top of your torso your rib cage, your lungs, and anything around there, your solar plexus, and your middle, um, the middle of your back. What are you holding on to there that is not yours? One, two, three, destroy and uncreate it all. Time, second zillion, right, wrong, good, bad, 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 bad. Return it all to whomever it belongs to. You do not need to know who it belongs to. It's irrelevant sometimes it can be relevant sometimes you are um, carrying pain from your partner or your friend or something and it actually helps to get that information but that's not something now that we are worrying about now we just want to clear our um, bodies clear our beings and most importantly acknowledge our awareness and how see and acknowledge how easy it can be it doesn't have to be heavy and hard as long as we're willing to be aware of our awareness <laughs> I know it's like a tongue twist there but okay moving down to the um, bottom part of our torso our stomach um, your stomach your lower back and like our your hips as well anything there so we're down to our um for some reason i'm called to name uh, kidneys if you're carrying anything in your kidneys <laughs> kidneys and liver and spleen all those organs that are there your intestines anything you're carrying there that is not yours <sighs> destroy and create it all and return it all to center right wrong good bad 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 good nine shirts boys and beyonds one two And then moving down your butt, your um, thighs, your reproductive system, or organs, reproductive organs, yeah. Um, everywhere around there. And remember, we're also doing this outside of our bodies, not just the body. Anything that you're holding on to there, who does it belong to? Is it even yours? Return it all to center. One, two, three. One, two, three. I put them back on my shirts, boys, and beyonds. Okay. And then we move down to our knees. And anything that's below our knees, so our calves, our feet, our ankles, all of our toes, all of the energy stored in those, all of the chakra points in our feet everything there all the blockages resulted from you holding on to and being stubborn about what for whatever reason you're holding on to anything from whomever will you now return it all to center revoke recant recent reclaim and renounce and denounce all the reasons why you do it why you hold on to it to try and create it all Right and wrong, good and bad, bottom, back all night. Shorts, boys, and beyonds. I really hope that you are lighter. I, I am already perceiving so many of you being so much lighter. So that is... I just love, love that. Love that um, state when I'm aware of things being resolved um, and released oh, does it get better? ok, just 
going to slowly give your body some like um, soft graces your energy body after this clearing that we did that you can do this anytime by yourself just by asking this question and by remembering stopping yourself in whatever you're in if it's a feeling if it's emotion if it's like a thought or if you're just heavy or pain fatigue tiredness like what am i aware of is this even mine can i can i return this to someone am i just aware of someone else's reality and every time you ask that question, it's like 99% of the time, you will get lighter, something will shift. So just be willing to acknowledge that that's, that's you, that's you just acknowledging that awareness. It's you being a sponge, energetic sponge, and it's so easy to shift it. Flow some more to contribute more to this topic that got created. It's it was yeah fun. I kind of decided to turn on the camera without knowing exactly what topic was gonna get created. So you who is watching right now sending you so much love wherever you are in the world know that you always have more choices than you think going to pull out <clears throat> okay so 
quote just before this slips my mind. Um, okay, related to what I was talking to earlier about um, feeling like you don't have a choice. Just want to name it again because it's coming up in my throat. Um, that Okay, for some of you, it's going to help a lot to just write down stuff that's going on in your mind. Write down stuff that's going on in your, like, your being that, like, it can be so confusing to just having it all in there. And if you feel like you don't know how to express it, how to put it into words and what to do next, this cannot, this is not just about talking and putting your um, expression into words, but it's about making choices, taking the next steps, taking action. So whenever I am stuck in these things, it helps so much to just put it down on paper. And that can be like a first um, first step in, in having that flow and that ease with getting out and moving forward or moving like towards something that is, feel, is feeling like it's a little stuck right now wanted to point that out. affordable like um, email Reiki images kind of like a membership I wanted to point that out um, for you guys who are interested then you get a, a Reiki infused image sent to your email a new one every week I am now putting it forth as like a package. You can buy like three together or five together. If you buy three, it's gonna be um, every three weeks you get a new one. No, every week you get a new one, so it's gonna be like a three week thing. If you get five, then it's gonna be a five week thing. And it's about like the idea is that using um, a way cheaper way than like getting a Reiki session that is totally personalized and there is that exchange um, that energy exchange of money so when we put money into something we amplify the energy so much so it's such a contribution for your own healing just when you put a little bit of money into some some healing so it's a way to honor and do that without it having to cost a lot of money um, and what I also want to say is that it's so important to to have Reiki energy or to have energy work done not just once even though that's always a contribution but again and again and again and if you want to see some like results some visible results so that's like a way to do that in a cheap way and it's like a little taste to what is possible with like regular energy healing sessions so it's gonna be in my description below I'm now going to just work on um, grounding your energy and just ending the session and whatever is required for you to end the session. So, just gently going to pull, pull down. Let the let your Super vibrant energy just 
meteors are so magical, powerful. I am aware, aware of all of your energies. Remember to ask this question and to remind yourself of how aware you are. Who does this belong to? Is this mine? Is this mine? Return to center, return to center. Remember that you always have more choices than you think. Remember that you have tools that are questions, you're questioning, putting the question forth into the universe, into your own awareness, to access information. Remember that you have those tools. What else is possible? What else is possible now? I'm so grateful for you all. I want to, I want to shout out to my, all of my current Patreon supporters. Um, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and until next time, take good care, remember water, take good care, love to you. <laughs>